happy, happy Monday morning to y'all. It's going to be a week. Um, just wanted to give you a quick shout out this morning. Had a great weekend with my wife. It was our anniversary getaway. Went down. She did a fantabulous on picking the whole itinerary from the hotel room to where we went to where we ate. And so Saturday morning we got up from the hotel and plan was to go shopping and ask her where she wanted to go. And she said, I don't care. I said, well, you know, there is a Hobby Lobby right across the street. That's just the type of guy I am. No, let's go to Hobby Lobby. So we go into Hobby Lobby, walking around, and I see a little sign that just jumped out at me. It says, I didn't create the world all in one day. God. I said, I didn't do it all in one day. God. And that got me thinking, which is a scary thing. You know, we come to work and we feel so rushed that we have to do everything all at once. It's got to be done. We've got to do this. We've got to do that. You're meeting a deadline. It's got to be done. Nope. It really doesn't. I mean, you know, Paul says later on, you know, how we'd approach our Christian faith is to be imitators of Christ. And we know from studying that Christ is who? God incarnate. So if God... When you look at creation, did not create it all in one day. Why? When he could have. I mean, he could just, and everything would have been done. But he did it. He gave us the day of rest. Why? We're to be imitators of God. We're supposed to be imitators of Christ. We're to take that day of rest. We're to do things in an orderly manner. But we don't have to do it all at once. So that's my little sheep snacks for this week. So... I hope it helps someone out, and it definitely helped me out. And this is why I do these things. I'm talking to myself. You know the old adage, preaching to the choir, that's me. So, have a great day. God bless. Be truly blessed, because I am.